side of the house, I'll show you the transfer switch. It's a Kohler transfer switch. And I'm not sure why they wired it this way. Uh, why they didn't use a whole house transfer switch and just uh, transfer the, all of the uh, power coming into the house over to the generator. Instead they have a system where you transfer over individual circuits. There's about 20 circuits, 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, 10, about 30 circuits overall you can transfer. Some are doubled as you can see. It comes off this fuse box over here and basically it's a lot like a manual transfer switch with a little motor that just transfers it over. See, they basically run, if you have ever wired in a manual transfer switch, you're just running the wires back and forth. And the wires are just running back and forth between the circuit box over there and the transfer switch over here. And I, I don't know why you wouldn't just take the main wire coming into the house and have that go into the transfer switch and just transfer everything over. Uh, this transfer switch runs most things. I see it runs their air conditioning uh, and mo most of the appliances, but I just don't know. They had to run this pipe. This is the gas line for the generator. They ran one and a quarter inch and uh, it comes out of this room. It runs all the way from there. There you can see it goes across there, it goes across the whole basement, it keeps going. Behind here, uh, they wanted to make sure they got enough gas to the generator, so they used a one and a quarter inch uh, pipe, black pipe all the way here, and it goes out here to the generator. This is where the wiring comes into the generator and goes back to the transfer switch comes in through the house. We'll take a look outside and see what we can come up with. You're coming out of the house, this is the other side of that. Here is where the um, the power lines apparently go into the house from the generator. The control wires come into the generator. Uh, we'll actually go from the generator into the house. Control wires uh, telling the transfer switch to, to uh, switch over and probably the sensor wires which tell the generator that there's no power on the main lines. Uh, this is really a professional job, nice job. Uh, here's the black pipe, one and a quarter inch, and then it gets reduced here to looks like three quarters inch to me. Three quarters, that goes straight into the generator. Now it's a Kohler generator. I think it's made of plastic. Plastic they have this stone. I shall give you a sense of it. Some stone next to it, I guess for the exhaust. That's what it's for. And uh, the exhaust is on the side. And then the, the stone is, is it's on a concrete slab. And this must be the uh, where the air goes into the engine. Uh, and these are friends of mine. So they let me look at their generator. I, I found the key, so we'll take a look around. And uh, it's a Kohler engine. I'll give you a look at it. Uh, does this come up? I'm not an expert on Kohlers, uh, but it does. And let's take a look at it. Okay, you know, it looks a lot like the my Briggs and Stratton. Here's the exhaust, the exhaust out the side. Here's the alternator. I mean, the generator is basically just an alternator and an engine. So they have the alternator hooked up to the engine. Let me give you a look at that. Let's see if we, what we can see. Hooks up to the alternator there. That's the engine. Here's the back. And here's the front. Oil oil filter. They put the oil filter nicely on top. Makes it easy to change. Nice looking engine. That's where you put the oil in. Where's the oil? Uh, there's the oil to check the oil. And it looks nice. This looks like this controls the, uh, 
the engine control controlling the RPMs. Uh, uh, they're probably low oil. Can you see that low oil cutoff? I believe. Yeah. And then, uh, nice little engine. Here's the control panel, AC breaker. I don't see, you can't plug a wire in here. They don't give you, I think on the Generax, they let you do that. It's a Kohler 20. Huh. Let's see what the model is. 20 R ESA. It must be a 20 kilowatt, which the only thing I can't figure out is if you have a 20 kilowatt generator, which is more than enough for this house, why not have a whole house transfer switch? Why just uh, do it that way? The only thing I could think of is maybe it was easier to wire it in that way. They don't want to touch the main wires coming into the house. But then again, it seems like it's a lot faster just to do a whole house transfer switch. Just put it in and you can watch my other whole house transfer switch video, the Briggs, how easy it is to do. You move the wires into the uh, transfer switch, the main wires coming into the house, and then run that out into the tra into the transfer switch. But uh, be that as it may, here's the uh, the computer access. I don't know. It's not mine, so I don't really want to get too deep into it. Uh, let's see if we could uh, start it up. Hopefully, they won't complain. It says on it. Can you see it? It says next maintenance. I can't read it. It says genset status standby. Battery 14.1 volts. That's good. Runtime is 129 hours. So they had a. I think they lost power a few times to date. 8:24 p.m. Uh, 3:24 p.m. Not sure. Next exercise 11 o'clock November 20th. Very nice. Next maintenance. Battery maintenance 130. Next maintenance 131 hours. Very nice. Okay, so this is pretty um, easy to understand. This off, auto, and run. We're not going to adjust anything because I'm not familiar enough to even go in there. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, at the generator. Maybe start it up. Nice generator, I have to say. And this is nice. Nice plastic case. Huh. Okay, so let's take a look. I wish you could hold this up, but I don't see anything to hold this up. Any way to... Oh, it's magnetic. There's a little magnet there, so I figured there had to be something. You just push it up. Okay, let's take a look. We'll start it up and see how it goes. Nice generator. I'd say about as loud as my, my Briggs and Stratton. Very nice. Let's lock it up. Nice heavy duty key. Oh, we didn't lock it up. Hold on. I'll have to play with that later. But interestingly, I think I've got it locked. We'll look around. Uh, I think a lot of it, they lose power here pretty frequently. Uh, the neighbor actually has a Generac. 20 kilowatt Generac. Uh, what's nice about it actually is it has a nice aluminum frame. Is it aluminum? It feels like plastic. It says aluminum, but... Uh, Maybe a thin aluminum. Nice connection there. So I'll just give you a look at the neighbors. Also a three quarter inch gas connection. The only nice thing about this that this has that uh, the Kohler and my Briggs don't have is you have this little access panel with uh, an outlet circuit breakers the green lights ready to go very nice system so we got a quick look at the Kohler system and the neighbors Generac system I'm certainly not going to try this one 
the neighbors won't be as understanding. In any event, I thought that would interest you. If you have any comments and you can figure out why someone would um, use that type of a transfer switch, I'd like to know. Uh, I'm just curious. But in any event, hope you enjoyed. Take care, everyone.